Shalom. All praises to Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai, Basham, Rakak, Wadash. Double honors to my elders, the apostles of Grey Millstone, those are the men that taught me the truth of the Bible, through the Holy Spirit, and Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai, Basham, Rakak, Wadash, Thumb, to the elect of Israel, that's scattered across the four corners of the globe. So today's date is August 24th, 2019, the year of Karagma, as claimed by Apostle Taha of Grey Millstone, through the Holy Spirit. And that's pursuant to the book of Revelation, chapter 13, verse 16, where it speaks about the mark of the beast. The mark being the impartable microchip. The mark is where you get the word karagma from, right, in the Greek. Which the word karagma basically means an imprinted stamp or an imprinted mark. And the word imprinted is synonymous with implant. And what these bank and elite of Esau, Edom, what they want to do is bring about a new world order. That new world order that you read about on their US dollar bill. That Novus Order Seclorum that you read about on their US dollar bill, which Novus Order Seclorum is Latin for New World Order. And pretty much at the helm of their New World Order, they want to bring about an implantable microchip. And that's going to be their crafty way to enslave the masses of people. Okay, now the beast is speaking about this lawless government. Okay, the Roman Empire that's coming in form of NATO and the EU with America at the helm of Esau's hegemony. And basically what we're looking at here is an article from www.eutherumworldnews.com concerning the world economy, all right, concerning Bank of England, which is going to play a major role in terms of bringing about um, this new currency and ultimately the, the mark of the beast, the implantable microchip, okay. So it says, Bank of England admits crypto is the future US dollar to fall and it says down here crypto is here to stay and the greenback meaning the US dollar bill is on its way out that was the sentiment portrayed by the Bank of England's governor Mark Carney at the central bank meeting in Jackson Hole Wyoming on Friday crazy right crypto a topic at central bank meeting over the past few days, the leaders of the world's economy, the chiefs of and advisors to central bankers the world over, i.e. the Rothschilds, right, the Rothschild family, just to name one of the banking elite families of Esau Edom. It says the chiefs of and advisors to central banks the world over have descended in a little town in the pro-blockchain state Wyoming, Jackson Hole. Financial media is also in attendance. There, these world monetary leaders are convening to talk about monetary policy and macroeconomic trends. And why do they have the power to do this? Well, let's get our first scripture here. In the book of Job, chapter 9, verse 24. It says, The earth is given into the hand of of the wicked meaning the current world that we're living in this current society this current rulership has been given into the hand meaning the power because when you go into that word hand in the hebrew the word you're going to find is yard which is pertaining to power right the earth is given into the power of the wicked and who's the wicked pursuant to malachi 1 verse 4 well malachi 1 verse 4 tells us that esau edom would be the border of wickedness. So that makes the Edomites the wicked of the Bible and the wicked of this earth. And the Edomites are still in rulership as we speak. And that's pursuant to the blessing that was given unto Esau, Edom, in the days of old. Right, you can read about that in the book of Genesis, chapter 27, from verse 38 to verse 40, about how Esau would have the fatness of the earth. And we're living in that time right now, but we're also living in a transitional period where the wicked Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, begin with their wicked elite. They're about to have their rulership revoked by the heavenly father, Yahweh, through our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. And that's why it says in the book of 2nd Ezra chapter 6 verse 9 that Esau is the end of the world. The world in an eon sense of the word pertain to a rulership, a time period. And Jacob, Jacob being the Israelites, our so-called blacks, Latinos and Native Americans, Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth beginning with our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, upon his return. So, when we read this article, we understand that it's the wicked 
that are basically bringing about uh, a digital form of currency and very shortly I'm going to show you what's going to be at the helm of this digital currency all right so it says let me read it one more time from um, I guess I'll read from here now it says there these world monetary leaders are convening to talk about monetary policy and macroeconomic trends this comes at an important time as a growing number of Wall Street analysts and retail investors have begun to call for a recession just as trade wars have raged and central banks have embarked on money printing sprees. Okay, now let's go to the prophecy. Let's just um, pull this up real quick. This is Revelation chapter 13 verse 16. It says, and he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Now, first and foremost, who has the power to cause all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads? Well, we just read in the book of Job, chapter 9, verse 24, that the earth has been given into the hand of the wicked. The wicked being Esau, Edom, Malachi 1 verse 4, Isaiah 26 verse 10, and Job chapter 9 verse 24 as reference points. So we understand that Esau, Edom has the power to cause all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark. Now it's not just any old Edomite that has that power, but the wicked elite of Esau, Edom. Okay, let's go back to that article. Uh, we're speaking about um, the chiefs and the advisors to the central banks of the world, okay? And I gave you an example in the form of the Rothschild family. And there's many others that you can research on in your own time, all right? So that's who's planning on trying to bring about a new world order, all right? Again, that new world order that you read about on their US dollar bill, Novus Ordo Sucrorum, which is Latin for New World Order. This is Revelation 13, verse 16. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark. Now, when you go into this word mark in the Greek, like I said at the top of the show, you're going to find the Greek word karagma, which means an imprinted stamp or an imprinted mark. And that word imprinted is synonymous with implant. And what they want to implant into people's hands or in people's brains is an implantable microchip. That way they can track their slaves. And that's their goal. And then when you go further into that word karagma, when you go to the root word karagma, you're going to find the word karax. And karax basically means a, a palisade of sort or a stake of sort. Okay, so it's something physical that they want to implant inside people. And what we're here to tell you, the men of Great Millstone, beginning with the apostles and the elders and the men on down, is that that mark or this mark that we're reading about here, it's speaking about an implantable microchip. Okay, it says, and he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and born, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. The foreheads being someone's brain, right? Verse 17, and that no man might buy or sell, meaning trade, save he that had the mark, the implantable microchip, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name, all right? Now, let's get more information on this. I've got an article here from www.buychip.store, and this is going into cryptocurrency, digital currency, if you will, and uh, it says this, we've built Buychip crypto coin to buy and sell our products. So let me read that again one more time, nice and slowly, just so you understand what's being spoken about here. It says, we've built buy chip crypto coin to buy and sell our products. Revelation 13 verse 17, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. It reads on to say here in the article, were a Danish human and animal bio microchip company and we have created next generation of blockchain microchips that make it possible to keep your wallets 
under your skin. Karagma, right? That's what karagma is. And pay for shoppings by wave of your hand. In this secure, smart and easy to use platform, you are able to buy as much crypto tokens as you need. More about Bychip Coin. Bychip is a biological crypto token created to ease the transaction in human microchip implants. At its essence, Biochip seeks to reduce the highs and lows that create financial boom and bust cycles and to continually outpace global inflation. Biochip is different from other cryptocurrencies in that a person is not required to mine or code break in order to receive a digital coin, right? So that's them making it easy. That's them making it convenient for the average person out there. Um, and that's all I'm going to read from that. Now, you see, this is all focused on cryptocurrency because that's going to be the new currency that's going to be used around the globe. Now, let's read the headline here. It said, Bank of England admits crypto is the future US dollar to fall. So the prophecy of the Mark of the Beast, Revelation 13 verse 16, is pretty much here. All right? It's around the corner. And this message is to you Israelites out there that don't have this understanding, this truth, this knowledge, this wisdom. Those of you that receive this chip in order to survive in this current system, you're going to be destroyed during the time of World War III. By way of these nuclear missiles and by way of our Lord, Yahweh Shai, who you call Jesus Christ, returning back with the holy angels in what you people even we call UFOs. Because they're going to come with their own fire too, out of those chariots. All right? And this is a vision that um, the Apostle John saw on the Isle of Patmos over 2,000 years ago, coming to pass, Revelation 14, 9 and 10. And this is also a message to you brothers out there around the world, right? The Akim Tazadakim, those of you that are part of the, the hopeful elect of Yahweh Bashmael Shai. You know, the, the 144,000 servants of Yahweh Bashmael Shai that's going out there diligently, week in, week out, prophesying against Babylon the Great America, prophesying against Esau, Edom the so-called white man, prophesying against the wicked of our people, right? To stay diligent, stay doing this work. You know, the hour of temptation is upon us, Revelation 3 verse 10. And Yahweh Shai said, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, meaning us doing this work, I meaning Yahweh Shai, will keep thee from the hour of temptation, all right, that shall come upon all the world to try them. And that hour of temptation is speaking about the time that we're living in right now, all right, where it's about to be a new system where you're not going to be able to survive in this system without having an implantable microchip. But through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashmah Shai, we're going to put our trust, our belief, and our faith in Yahweh Bashmah Shai, Basham Rakakwadash, to deliver us from the hour of temptation. Shalom.